Hey Virgo and welcome to my channel. I am here doing your April 2019 general reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages won't resonate with everybody, so please use your judgment. Leave what don't, take what does, and enjoy your reading. So your first card out was Justice. Your second card out is the Ten of Pentacles. See Virgo, April 2019. Thank you. The Two of Wands in reverse. The Hermit in reverse. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And one more. Thank you. The King of Pentacles. And what energy are they leaving in March? Okay, your guys' bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles. Um, a new abundant beginning is on the horizon. Um, could be from a third party um, person or uh, without pulling clarifiers. Um, it could just be a cause for celebration when you receive this abundance. So um, you, you could be hiding the truth from somebody. Um, but communication is coming uh, for whoever um, is hiding the truth that is coming out. So the energy you guys are leaving in uh, March and not bringing forward with you into April is the wheel of fortune. So you could be feeling like you've had a lot of bad luck lately. Um, you're just kind of leaving it like in the past. You're, you don't even believe in luck anymore because your luck has been so crappy lately. Um, but it is going to come in the upright. So keep the faith, um, keep the hope because if you um, don't believe it, it won't come in for you. Uh, it, a need for balancing your energy is uh, is needed. You are leaving that imbalance in March and you are finding a sense of balance in um, in April. You're no longer going to be feeding into uh, too many energies. Uh, you yeah. Okay. So, um, you're needing to plant your seeds of in intention. The universe doesn't know how to help you if they don't know what you want. So, um, you're encouraged to figure out what it is that you want and plant those seeds of intention as well as continue to invest in yourself and, um, weed and water your own garden. Um, when you work on your own goals and your own, uh, intentions, things are going to blossom for you guys. So, um, it is encouraged in April to move forward um, and and uh, plant those seeds of intention because uh, you're kind of feeling in a place of stuck. Uh, you're leaving that stuckness in the past. This is um, kind of some mental uh, anguish. You're all over the place. You don't know what to think. You don't know what to do. You could have uh, acted out in a way that was a little bit uh, hasty towards somebody um, and you weren't cutting away from a situation that you needed to leave in the past, um, but you are coming out of that. You are leaving that um, type of energy behind. You are making decisions in the month of April um, because you're leaving that confusion behind. You're making a choice and you are going to um, move forward in that choice towards your life partner, towards the person you're meant to be with. Um, letting the illusions and delusions fall away. Um, an illusion is shattered. You know, you're, you're having a more realistic outlook um, in the month of April as, as in... Um, more so than what you have in the past. Um, you're really figuring out what true love is. Um, you could have been uh, confused on to who you wanted to have a life with. Um, that is why they are encouraging you to set your intentions and balance out your energy because your, your person is coming in for you 
for um, if you believe it. You have to have you have to have the faith, Virgos. Don't lose faith. So starting out your month of April, you are starting out with the card of justice, karma, dealing with karma, balancing out the scales, leaving that imbalance behind, and allowing things to happen that need to happen. No longer fighting uh, the no longer fighting the current. Yeah, you're allowing a relationship to come to an end. This is a major life cycle you're completing with the world. Um, this could be with a fixed sign um, or a Libra, but it doesn't have to be. This is just somebody that you're in a marriage or a long-term commitment with. You're allowing that cycle to come to an end. Justice is being served. The karmic scales are balancing out, and you're moving forward in the direction that um, you've been wanting to move toward but haven't is what I'm hearing. Um, there is a cycle coming to an end with somebody that you have a family with. This is somebody that you've created a good family life with, but there's just not, they, they weren't meant to be your partner for life. And you guys are both, this is a very civil, uh, conversation happening between you and the person that you are in a long-term commitment with. This is a very civil conversation that, we're just not happy anymore. And you two are finally telling each other the truth. Finally coming out of this fog that you have been in, this confusion. Um, you're finally speaking your truth. And it's going to clear the air and allow both of you to move in the direction that you're meant to go in. And for this group of you, you're meant to go your separate ways. But you will maintain a civil relationship with each other because you both feel the same way but you've both been hiding it from each other you've both been not speaking your truth as far as this family situation goes but um like i said it is coming to an end this era this cycle this uh situation is coming to the end of its chapter uh let's see why the two of wands is here in reverse you've been trying yeah you've been you you knew that this path wasn't meant for you and you knew that you wanted to go in a different direction. You didn't know how to manifest, however, that into your life. With the two of wands in reverse, you were filled with fear and too afraid to let go of that one wand um, in order to move forward with the other one. And really... Um, you know, accomplish a lot in this world, a lot of your goals, a lot of your ambitions. Um, as you see in this card, I'll put it in the upright for a second. Um, there's two different people holding this wand. This person is very sure of themselves. They have their wand. They have that crystal ball in their hand. They can see the future. They know what the future holds for them. There is no question because they are creating their future. The only true way to uh, fortune, you know, fortune tell the the future is to create it so this person is very sure of what the future has to hold for them because they're creating their reality this person has a hold of that wand and wants to create a reality with them but they're not currently in the picture so they still know the connection though so there's somebody that you're connected to virgo that is not in the picture right now that you're hoping to create this life with but you first have to move away from this emotionally draining situation that you are currently in. This uh, situation that you emotionally invested a lot in and you're just emotionally exhausted from. It's time to move forward and into your spiritual path. It's time to find your own inner light and follow it. Um, and it will lead the way for you. It will guide you and and show you the path to creating the reality that you want, creating the world that you want to uh, um, create for yourself. But you first have to move forward and away from this connection um, that has been holding you back spiritually and emotionally. Um, you are here, Virgo, with the Hermit in reverse. So you're not in your element. You're out of balance. You need to find grounding and you need to retreat. You need to step away from the world. You need to step away from everyone else's opinions because it's confusing you. And you need to listen to your own inner guide. You need to find your own inner light because that is the only, the only thing that will lead you in the true direction is your own inner voice, your own inner guide. And in order for you to hear that and feel that and be able to follow it, 
you need to retreat from the world long enough to find it um, and to deal with your shadow side. You, um, you could be holding off moving into this hermit because you're afraid of your own inner demons. You're afraid of your own fear. You're afraid of your own... Um, you know, inner conflict within yourself. So in this time of hermit, it's very important to retreat and to deal with those, that shadow side. Everybody's got one. It's time to deal with that fear. It's time to deal with that, um, self-doubt, that, um, worry of, you know, lack, whatever your shadow side is, you're, you're refusing to look at it and it's time to retreat from the world. So you can, Deal with that shadow side and move forward in your own light, moving forward in your own direction and following your own dreams, making your own goals, living life by your own rules. Because right now you're feeling stuck. You're so, you're so slow in moving forward that you're stagnant. You are stuck in um, a situation that you don't want to be in. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here in reverse for Virgo? Oh, way too many. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, way too many. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for Virgo in April? Okay. The Knight of Wands in reverse. So, um, you, you are, um, kind of stuck in a, in this stagnant energy, Virgo. Um, you want to move forward. You want to move quickly. You want to move quickly towards a fire sign, possibly. You want to allow yourself to live your life following your passion by, um, you know, following your own heart, your own desire. But in this time of feeling like you are responsible to stay where you're at and take care of this family situation, whether you're emotionally, um, mentally, spiritually, physically, uh, um, satisfied, you just feel like you're stuck here because you have responsibilities to take control or take care of. And you're, you're wanting to be able to move forward in passion, but you're just, you're finding yourself very stuck here. Why is the King of Pentacles here? And you know, you're stuck because you feel like you have this responsibility to, um, to some situation within your family. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Even though you can take care of those responsibilities and follow your dreams and um, be with who you want to be with um, at the same time. You don't have to pick or choose. You're also, um, your outcome is working on your stability, finding your own feet again, finding your own self. Why is this King of Pentacles here for Virgo as the outcome? Oh my goodness, way too many. Okay. Yeah, you have the Seven of Swords, Seven of Cups, Seven of Wands, Queen of Swords, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Okay, let's get one card. There we go. Okay. So, you need to leave behind this, this uh, cycle that you're coming to an end, end of. This cycle has been brutal on you. You want to follow your heart, but yet you want to do what's right or what you think is right. Um, it's it's giving you the it's telling you you have the courage and the strength to move forward without fear. You are the maker of your own destiny. You are the creator of your own reality. So whatever it is you want, you can have it, but you have to believe it. Um, you uh, feel like. You have this sense of responsibility with this Nine of Wands. You are, as an outcome of April, going to finally get yourself grounded. You are going to find that stability. Um, you are going to find that sense of purpose and be able to do your sense of duty and make yourself happy. Um, and you're going to be able to do that when you follow your heart. When you move into a situation that gives you that emotional um, abundance, that happiness, um, instead of a, you know, a relationship where you feel you're stuck in. So, um, as soon as you follow your heart, as soon as you find yourself in this grounded place, grounding your energy, finding your sense of self again, and your stability, 
you're going to be able to follow your heart and find that relationship because this, this can't happen without this and this can't happen without this. You have to be in the moment. You have to be grounded and stable in order to bring in this love of a lifetime. And in order to bring in this love of a lifetime, you have to be grounded and stable. So um, you really have to find yourself again, Virgo. And in order for you to do that, you have to go within and deal with um, this shadow side, these fears that you have, um, these self, the self sabotaging thought process, and really find your own light so you can get yourself back in your element. <clears throat> it's actually a very positive reading, Virgo. It's just really um, telling you you need to release this confusion. Um, do not listen to other people. Uh, no longer be stuck and cut yourself away from the situation. Allow this wheel to come in. Plant your seeds of intention so the universe knows how to help you. And find balance in your own life again. Allow this major life cycle, this era, to come to an end and balance out the karmic scales. Speak your truth to somebody that you are in a family situation with. Because when that you speak that truth of how you truly feel, you'll be surprised at how they feel a lot of the same things you are. And um, it will clear the fog and and show you guys the way of how to end that cycle in a positive way so you can move forward in the path you're meant to take in the path that you want to take and really find yourself again find your balance find your um your inner light and be able to walk in that inner light and get you out of this place of being stuck so you can find that stable loving happy relationship that will bring you joy and, and happiness as well as allow you to um, complete your sense of duty or your responsibility that you don't want to leave behind. All right, Spirit and Angels, what message and love do you have for our Virgos in April 2019? Wow. Your card that came out, Virgos. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Do not listen to everyone else who is telling you what to do. Do not fear the future. Do not miss this opportunity because you can't release from whatever situation this is that you are wrapped up in right now because you are stuck and it is time to free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life so you can usher in the life you're meant to live, the life you're meant to have. So, all right, Virgos, I hope you have a beautiful April. I will see you next time and God bless.